Hi, I'm Ashley Colmsey and I'm going to do a quick demo of our audit app. So this here is our home screen. Down the left we have our navigation panel. Now you can see that the last three options are greyed out. This is because we haven't created an audit yet. So the first thing we're going to do is make a new audit. Um, we've got all our different types of audits here. We're just going to choose the first one for now. We'll do a vehicle audit. So this is the checklist page where you can first put in a job number, the date is automatically set to the current date, grabs your username for the inspector, vehicle registration we can just say and description. Okay so at this point you'd start to go through the checklist, for example the oil level might be fine, like brake fluid level might be fine, water level might not be great and because we've failed at this point you might want to add an image of the checklist item. For example, if the water level is incorrect you might want to take a photo of the incorrect water level and then after fixing it the correct water level. You'd make sure you've selected the checklist item that you want to associate it with. You can either choose an image or an audio recording, as you can see. We'll just add an image first. Now this uses the native camera function. So because I'm on a laptop it brings up my little window here. Um, we'll just use this cat and we click add photo. At this point, as you can see, it's connected to item 3, which we says is a fail. Say you wanted to then put a photo on the first one. And then you go, actually, no, I've changed my mind, I don't want that cat. I want this one in a suit. Then you also wanted to add an audio message. Hello, this is an audio message and we are recording it and it is a test. The end. We've now got the audio message down here, so if we played that... Hello, this is an audio message and we are recording it and it is a test. The end. We've done a few pass fails, all that sort of thing. The next tab is media and this shows you all the media that you've uploaded, has all the information there if you've passed or failed. At this point, if everything's fine, you can then submit it. Comes up with a screen, are you sure you want to submit? If you say yes, it then submits, uploads everything, all the media. This might take a while, it's connecting to SharePoint at the moment. So this is what will happen if you are online while you're doing the audit. If you have an internet connection, it will straight away upload the images and audio files to SharePoint. But what happens if you're doing an audit and you don't have internet connection? So now, if we want to do a parks audit maybe, what actually happens is each of these has different questions for different types of audits. As you can see, there are all different questions. As with the other audit, you are not allowed to fill anything in once you, until you've put in a job number. I'm going to do some passes, or maybe a fail. Might add a few pictures. Now we can go check these pictures. Now when I submit, it says you are currently not connected to the internet, audit will be saved locally. So instead of uploading to SharePoint, saves it locally in unsubmitted audit. You can go through, check your audit, hasn't been submitted but it's been saved. When you do have internet again, I'm just going to turn it back on, it's still there, now there's a submit button. Simply press submit, takes you to the submit page and it then checks that we've got internet connection and sends it off to SharePoint. If we go back to home, another thing you'll notice is we have this little map here and some list of upcoming inspections. Each one corresponds to the little point on the map. We want to know when we're close enough to be able to go before this audit. So this is red, meaning that it is in a radius of what I've set as 0 0.01 degrees of latitude and longitude around wherever you are. And you can see that only three of the five are within our area. Those three are one, three, and four, one, three, and four. So there you have it. That's essentially just a little run through of our audit app and what it can do. If you want a more in-depth explanation and work through of this, check out the other video we've uploaded. It's quite a bit longer, but it does give you much more detail. Thank you for watching.